God is God alone. Job says he's higher than heaven, deeper than hell, broader than the sea and longer than the earth. We thank God for such knowledge for brother Paul teaches us how be it that this knowledge is not in every man. Brothers and sisters, it is a privilege to be able to hold our youth conference here for the first time in Memphis. <clears throat> Memphis, Tennessee is one of the newest works uh, here in 2014. And just to update our television viewers, we came here, I believe it was October or November of last year. And in about two days time, we baptized approximately 88 souls in the name of the Lord Jesus. When you look at all of them that were baptized last year, it was 1,168 souls in one year's time. Now, you don't hear that kind of old fashioned Holy Ghost moving around too much. Amen. We are thankful that God have given the truth of God a message. God did. Yeah. We're not out on our own. Oh no. My mother didn't put me in the pulpit and my wife didn't coerce me up here. <laughs> mm -mm, no. I was handpicked, if that don't sound too boisterous. <laughs> And if it does, I'm going to tell you anyway. I was handpicked by Yahweh, the great Jehovah. There I am that I am. And he told his apostles, I will make you fishers of men. Amen. This is the only reason why God has given the truth of God. Success in every town, every village, every country. I mean, who hears of it? Oh, yeah. Souls contact us from Malaysia, flew to the first churches in South India, went down in water in the name of Jesus Christ, contacting us out of Haiti and other parts of the world. We're not just working here in America. Mm -hmm. So many parts of the world starting a new work now in Ontario, Canada. Mm -hmm. Quebec got a whiff of it and say, you got to come here, we're leaving our churches. Montreal got a whiff of it. Said, we're leaving our churches, we need you to come here to Montreal. The truth of God is in demand everywhere. I want to say to my viewers that are looking throughout South Jersey, we're coming in your area, we're going, we've been dropping it from the ground by God's helper, or dropping it from the air, we're coming in person to shoot you from the ground. New York? New York, Amen. we're on our way. God willing, we're looking to be there. I want to say the Lord is doing a mighty work down in Florida with our Mexican minister, Minister Abraham. He's so excited. He said since he came to work along with the truth of God, he have never worked this much in his life. He said doors is just opening up. Ministers that knew him, see him on the telecast, they're contacting him. This is all Hispanic brothers and sisters contacting him throughout Florida. As we speak, he's in Mexico now meeting with some of the UPC and some of the Hispanic churches, about four to five of them. All of them came out and they want to be a part of the truth of God. But he said, Pastor Jennings, I'm going there with the truth of God message and letting them know if they don't accept it, we got to shake the dust off our feet. <laughs> you know, that's what we need, sound men. That's what we need. Am I right, I said? Yeah. <laughs> sound, sound men. Sound men. I'm glad God made me a sound leader. Brothers and sisters around the world don't have no henpeck preaching. Oh no. We follow what is written. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Somebody asked me what caused you to 
decide to bring the convention here to Memphis? <laughs> was it because it was a new work? No. I was encouraged to come here by the Ku Klux Klan. <laughs> the KKK wrote me and they threatened me. <laughs> they heard the truth of God message and said that uh, in, you know, cause stations like to bleep me out. Right. And you that don't know what in me, <laughs> They said, a nigga like you <laughs> should not be on television. They said, you make me want to go back and get my sheets. Lord. And they said they want to hang me in their backyard. Lord. So when I got that news, I felt so wonderful. <laughs> I felt light on my feet. <laughs> I felt very encouraged because they threatened me and said they're going to hang me. Hallelujah. So I didn't want their words to be in vain. <laughs> so we are here. Amen. God have not given us the spirit of fear, but of love and of a sound mind. That's right. I don't care if you Ku Klux Klan, skinhead, no head. We have white brothers and white sisters, brown brothers and brown sisters, yellow brothers and yellow sisters, mm -hmm. dark brothers and dark sisters. We have all races in the truth of God. That's right. The Ku Klux Klan is just a group of immature, ignorant men and women who are mentally ignorant, emotionally incapacitated, and physically unqualified, and spiritually dead. Amen. So you dared me to come here? I'm here. <laughs> and I say like General MacArthur, I shall return. Hallelujah. So, I want to say to all the racist bigots, <laughs> that hate the truth of God. I'm, I'm so glad that this message is making the devil mad. Oh yeah. That's a good thing. Amen. Now to my television viewers, the truth of God is the greatest religious program, not just in America, but in the world. Oh yeah. And if you don't believe me, I don't mind. I tell you what you do. Look at the religious programs in your area or go on internet and look at all the trash that is on there. You will find false prophets who try to ride on the coattail of the truth of God. That's right. I mean, to the degree until they will integrate their program in the midst of ours and use the same church name we have. Lord. Just so you can think that that's the truth of God. Well, one thing about the truth of God, there's a sound in it. Oh, yeah. Glory to God, hallelujah, is different, different from any other sound. That's right. The sound that you hear, glory to God, hallelujah. is the sound of God. That's right. That's right. <laughs> One false prophet called my brother in yes men hmm. because he was jealous of the fact that he don't hardly have no men <laughs> and he don't like the idea that I have an army. Got an army. <laughs> One scripture says a troop is coming. Troop. That's right. Now, I want to encourage all my brothers and sisters around the world mm -hmm. to be sound in holiness. That's right. Before I go any further, I want to say I've certainly enjoyed our young people from Oklahoma. My God, didn't they sound wonderful? They see them children with the sound of the instruments and harmonizing and those children is being brought up in the right thing. Oh yeah. And the thing is, when they grow older, I pray that they stay yeah. in the right way. That's right. 
You see, as a child, most children come to church out of obedience to the parents. That's right. So it has to be bigger than just obeying the parents. The love for it must be in them. That's right. And when the love for it is in them, then the parents no longer have to push them. They come because they're hungry and thirsty after righteousness and they want to be filled. That's right. So to my young people, if you don't have the Holy Ghost, just keep waiting. Keep waiting. Glory to God, when I, was, when I was six years old, I repented of my sins and was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And I was tearing for the Holy Ghost, waiting at age 11. Amen. The great Jehovah. Amen. Heard my cry. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And filled me with the Holy Ghost speaking in other tongues as the Spirit of the Lord God give utterance at 11 years old. So to my young men and young women, seek the Lord. Amen. While he may be found. Oh, yes. Then the book says, call upon him. Call upon him. While he's near. That's right. Don't ever let your friends or anyone else tell you you're too young. That's right. Notice. They never tell you you're too young to smoke. They don't tell you you're too young to party. Mm -hmm. They don't tell you you're too young to do anything that's wrong. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to obey God, you're too young. Amen. Well, get this sound teaching in sound you. Sound teaching. I can never encourage the parents enough to have balance in your home. That's right. What do you mean balance? If, let me use myself as an example, even though I'm a leader of many, I'm a preacher, but when my children talk to me, they're not talking to Pastor Jennings. That's right. They're talking to Dad. That's right. So when they come talk to me, I'm not coming to them quoting a variety of scriptures. Yeah. I'm talking to them as a father to a child, and I can talk to them from a scriptural perspective without quoting the scripture. Wonderful. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. Our young people today need support, need encouragement, need discipline, yeah. need teaching, need help. And to my young brothers and sisters, whatever you want to accomplish in life, don't let no one tell you that it cannot be done. That's right. Don't limit yourself. Push. Don't wait for someone to push you. That's right. You have to be self-motivated. Yeah. Young people, oh, yeah. don't be lazy. Mm -hmm. Young sisters, don't get pregnant and have to drop out of college. Amen. Don't get pregnant and got to drop out of high school. Young men, don't you go get no girl pregnant. You can't even buy a roll of paper towels. That's right. Am I right, Isaac? That's right. This is why false prophets hate us. Amen. They say Pastor Jennings is too rude. He's too outspoken. And all that stuff he talk is not necessary. Well, I don't know what planet they're living in, but the world that I look at, the whole world is like Babylon. Oh, yeah. Whole Isn't world. it? Whole world. America and its constant rejection yeah. and hate for God. Religion. Religion have turned their back on God, even the people of God, some of them. Right. Some that were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. And received the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue, have took the word of God and threw it out the window. Amen. We have taken a God-given, uncompromising, firm stand. And in the midst of all the bumps and rocky roads and the hits and whatnot, we're standing. Standing. We're not moving. That's right. We have a more sure word of prophecy. That's right. More and more new ministers is reaching out to us from different parts of the country. From Louisiana, from Mississippi, from foreign countries, from other parts of America, from South America. And also, let me say, to all of you and to you that are watching, please remember our brothers and sisters that are in South America, especially in Chile, because Chile had another earthquake. 
Lord. I believe it was even seven point something or eight point something, but uh, contact was made. I have told the secretary to please make contact, contact with uh, the minister there, Minister Alberto. He responded back. Uh, it is chaos. Lord. You know, it, it, it's, it's to, to be in a situation wherein you don't know where your food is coming from or drinking water, things that we take for granted. Right. So I pray that God would make provisions for uh, South America and that God will deliver them and that God will put our brothers and sisters and all the citizens of South America back on their feet. Amen. Brothers and sisters, it is time for a revolution. Amen. Someone say, he talking violence. No, I'm not. <laughs> revolution means change. That's right. That's what Jesus taught revolution. That's right. Not with the gun. No. But with the sword. Mm -hmm. And that sword is the word of God. The word of God. Oh, yeah. When you walk with God, you have to take a stand. And that stand, you can't compromise. You can't bargain. You can't sell out. And when you take a stand like that, you will have those that say they love you. Some of them will turn on you. That's true. Because you refuse to bow to what they want. That's right. That's true. But we're going to stand anyway. Stand anyway. That's right. The thing that is holding us up is God. God. Yes, Amen. Glory to God, you know what? What hold up a puppet? You got to have the puppet master. Oh, yeah. Eh? Oh, yes. On its own, the puppet can't do anything. Mm -hmm. On our own, we can't do nothing. Nothing. As, we, as last night, you know, the Holy Ghost brought a good message last night. Oh, yeah. Glory to God. The body without the spirit is dead. It's dead. A church without God is dead. Oh, yes. A people without God is dead. Now, knowledge, brothers and sisters, is power. Mm -hmm. To you that are watching... If you don't have knowledge and you that are here, mm -hmm. then you won't know how to wish up God. You won't know how to serve God. You will not know how to render to God the things that are God and render to Caesar the things that are Caesar. That's right. We believe in rendering to Caesar the things that are Caesar. What do you mean? When the Bible made reference to Caesar, he's making reference to government. That's right. So we render to America <clears throat> the things that are America as long as those things don't contradict the word of our God. That's right. All right, let's go to work in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Open your Bible anywhere, Williams. Mm, anywhere. Anywhere. Amen. It doesn't matter where it's at. Anywhere. Amen. Amen. Glory to God and let's go deep sea diving. Mm. In the book and of I Matthew. Talk <clears throat> to our television viewers, Amen. internet viewers, mm -hmm. you that are watching live tonight on the web, you that are listening this morning, this afternoon, and tonight uh, on radio, I want to mm -hmm. say to my new viewers in Oklahoma, keep watching. Amen. This is the greatest thing that you will hear. <laughs> you think you get hit with a tornado? <laughs> well, we're preaching do more damage than that. That's right. Don't you hear Nahum talk about God and says how God have his own way in the whirlwind. That's right. So we want to bring the twister of the gospel there <laughs> and root up everything that's not like God. Amen. All right, Williams, let's go to work. Follow me. Matthew chapter 10 and at verse 34. What is it? Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. That sounds so good. Amen. The Lord said, don't think I come to bring peace. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> now I want to say to you viewers, I want to educate you real good. Mm -hmm. You know how the false prophets manipulate you? Yeah. By always using the word love. Love. They just like a woman who tried to manipulate a man or a man who tried to manipulate the woman by throwing love in their face. So the false prophet will tell you love. That's He'll right. quote the scriptures. God is, love. God is love. 
God so loved the world. Mm -hmm. And his ideology of love is lending you money, mm -hmm. giving you food. Amen. He used food to manipulate you. Yeah. He gave you money to help you with bills to make you a member. Mm -hmm. He would do little special things to make you feel important, which is a hypocritical form of love. That's and right. because many folks of the human family are ignorant of what God love is, they call hypocrisy love, love. when they don't even know it. That's right. Now, the word of God speak plain, what is love, what is love? and who is love? Yeah. I was on a television talk show in Wilmington, Delaware, and one woman called in. She said, Pastor Jennings, do preach from the Bible, but I never heard him talk about love and say how God love you and how God forgive you. Every time you turn the television on and watch the truth of God, you hear love talking. Mm -hmm. That's right. You hear love talking. He that loveth not. Now, listen, mm -hmm. listen at the Bible because I want to give you a broader perspective of love. Of love. Huh? Amen. Come on, son. First John chapter 4 and at verse 8. What is it? He that loveth not knoweth not God. Now, <laughs> if I didn't love, I wouldn't have the knowledge of God that I had. No, you wouldn't. I couldn't tell you that God came from Teman. <laughs> That's right. And the Holy One from Mount Paran. That's right. If I didn't have the love of God, I couldn't tell you that God is from everlasting and he go to everlasting. That's right. I couldn't tell you that God have no mother and God have no father and he's Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Amen. The first and the last, which is, it was and is to come. Mm -hmm. He's the almighty. I couldn't explain all that. That's right. Because the word of God did say this. He that, no man mm -hmm. speaking Go ahead. by Go ahead, the brother. spirit. Go ahead. Calleth Jesus, Jesus accursed. Accursed. In 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Huh? That's right. Now you hear the word of God talking. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and at verse 3. No man. Wherefore, wherefore I give you to understand. I want you to understand that no man. That no man. Speaking. Speaking. By the Spirit Hallelujah. of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Speaking by the Spirit of God or speaking by the love of God. Calleth Jesus a curse. Call Jesus a lie. Holy. Go ahead, brother. <laughs> Go ahead. Notice how quiet it is. <laughs> no man speaking by what? No man speaking by the Spirit of God. That's it. Now, that's it. Hear us. That's it. Get me. Get me good. Amen. No preacher Amen. in the world. Mm -hmm. Can tell you the truth about God mm -hmm. without the Spirit of God in him. That's right. Now, when the Spirit of God is in the preacher, mm -hmm. then the preacher don't have to tell you about God. That's right. God will tell you about himself through the preacher. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Go ahead. He'll get what I'm telling you. It is not ye that speak. Now, God said to his preachers, in it's that, not you that speak it. But the Spirit. But the Spirit. Of your Father. Of your Father. Which speaketh in it's, you. It's the Spirit of God. That's right. That get in the preacher. That's it. Now, when God get in the preacher, Amen. then God give the preacher the language of God Go ahead. and God express himself through the preacher. Now the spirit speaketh expressly. Do you get what I'm telling you? Amen. God express himself Go ahead. through the preacher. That's it. God express himself mm -hmm. in the preacher. That's it. You know, a puppet is the expression of its master. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Do you get what I'm telling you? That's right. The master is behind the scenes. Go ahead. Can't see him. Amen. But you can hear him. Mm -hmm. Can't see him. Mm -hmm. But you see his handiwork. That's right. You get what I'm telling you. That's right. The Bible says there's one master. Mm -hmm. Now, brothers and sisters, and you hard head, hell bound preachers. Go ahead, brother. Now, I'm a puppet. Amen. Think of it. Amen. And uh, you can't see my strings, <laughs> no. but I feel them. Go ahead. Hallelujah. And it's constantly pulling on me. That's right. I said, it's pulling on me. That's right. That's what got my mouth running so much. Amen. God told Jeremiah, I'll put my word in, in my mouth. mouth. That's right. God told Isaiah, pro prophet Isaiah, come along and say that mm -hmm. I, Isaiah, Isaiah. Uh, during the time that King Uzziah, Uzziah died, died, I 
saw the Lord. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. Hallelujah. And his train mm, filled, filled the, temple. the temple. Amen. And I saw an altar That's right. with live coal. Mm -hmm. And one of the seraphims flew unto me. That's right. And with the tongues. That's right. Got the coal. That's right. And laid it on my mouth. Mm -hmm. Now, in order for the preacher to speak the truth. Go ahead. He got to have live coal. Live coal. In other words, the presence of God, the spirit of God, had to be laid upon his on mouth. his mouth. That's right. Why is it called live coal? Mm -hmm. Because live coal is hot. That's right. Why was it laid on his mouth? Mm -hmm. Because Isaiah said, mm -hmm. I'm an unclean, unclean man, man with the unclean lips. That's right. So God had to take live coal. That's right. Laid it on his laid mouth. Laid it on his mouth. That's clean it up. Amen. And when Galia. When preach God it, clean up the mouth preach. of the preacher, preach it. that preacher won't preach. That's right. It's all right to divorce. That's right. Because his mouth is clean. That's right. When his mouth is clean, that preacher won't preach. Go ahead. That is three God. That's right. His mouth is clean. That's right. When his mouth is clean, Go ahead. you won't hear that preacher say, there's no more apostles now. No, no. Because his mouth is clean. clean. That's right. When his mouth is clean, that preacher won't say, you don't need an elder. Then lay hands on you. That's right. You lay hands on yourself. My Lord. Oh, no. Oh, no. Huh? Amen. Oh, to take off. Go ahead, brother. What? Live cold. His mouth. That's right. It's clean. That's right. When his mouth is clean, he won't have Go ahead. women preachers. No, no. Do you understand? That's right. Because his mouth is clean. That's right. Now, it take the spirit of God. Spirit of God. To wash out. Go, go ahead. You see? The preacher got to have a Holy Ghost mouthwash. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Glory to God. That's right. He got to have mouthwash. Amen. That falls from heaven. Go ahead. Get in his mouth. Go ahead. And clean up all the lies he's been taught. Mm -hmm. Clean up all the lies that he believed. Mm -hmm. Clean up all the lies that he heard. That's right. That's Spirit. Right. Spirit. Had to speak expressly. That's right. God express. Himself. That's right. Now, no man mm, speaking, speaking by the Spirit oh, of God. Glory, glory, glory to God. Amen. No man, no man speaking, speaking by the Spirit of God. By God's Spirit. Calleth Jesus a curse. Call Jesus a curse. Amen. Now, when you call Jesus a curse, a curse, you said something wrong about him. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. When you call Jesus a, a curse, curse, you said something wrong. Mm -hmm. About him. Amen. I got a letter that I got to read tomorrow. They, some beautiful letters. People that are messed up on a God head. And one letter wrote me and, and asked about blasphemy. Mm -hmm. And said, well, uh, if Jesus Christ is God, Jesus said, you can be forgiven. Right. It's a very good letter. Mm -hmm. And the question is excellent. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, uh, mm -hmm. they say, Jesus said, you can be forgiven. Right. If you blaspheme against the son of man. Mm -hmm. And yet you said Jesus is father and he's the Holy Ghost right. and he was the son of God. Right. But Jesus said you can be forgiven mm -hmm. if you blaspheme mm -hmm. against the son of, man, son of man. But you can't be forgiven if you blaspheme against the Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost. That's right. So they say, well, how is it? He's the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. and he's the son of God. Amen. That's not hard. No. Let me just help you before time. Mm -hmm. huh? Amen. Now. You bear in mind, mm -hmm. the name Jesus mm -hmm. is the name of God. That's right. That's right. And before the Son of God was begotten, mm -hmm. before he was even conceived, yes. the name Jesus mm -hmm. was already here. Luke chapter 2 and at verse 21. Says what? And when eight days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child, what happened? his name was called Jesus. His name was called Jesus. Which was so named of the angel. The so named of the angel. Before. When? Before. Before what? He was conceived in the womb. So here you have the eternal spirit that made the world and everything in it. That was Jesus. That's right. And then in order for the world to know God's name, Mm -hmm. God didn't have no blood, so he made some clothing. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. He tailored some clothing in the house of David, in the tribe of Judah, and the lining of that garment was red with blood. That's right. Yeah. That's right. It was written. He was clothed with the vexure, dipped in blood. Written upon him was the word of God. Yeah. So if you blaspheme against the flesh, that's mm -hmm. the son, that's the you son. can be forgiven. Right. But if you blaspheme against what was in the flesh, that's which it. is the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. you can't be forgiven. That's right.
right. the name of the Holy Ghost is Jesus. Jesus. And when he made that body, the body took on the name of the same spirit. That's it. So yes, when you blaspheme against the Son of Man, you speak against the outer man. Mm -hmm. When you blaspheme against the Holy Ghost, you speak against the inner man. That's it. Eh? That's right. You get what I'm telling you? That's yeah. right. When you, when you blaspheme against the spirit, you're speaking against the invisible. Mm -hmm. When you blaspheme against the son of man, you're speaking against the visible. The visible. You get what I'm telling you? Wherefore I give you Wherefore, to understand. I give you to understand. That no man. Now television viewers. Hallelujah. Is your preacher cursing? Mm. Amen. Amen. <laughs>